How y'all doing today? It's your boy Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs back with another video. I got my face in the camera today and I want to go over some basic behavior of hog nose snakes in terms of getting bit and can you get bit. Um, so two of the main defense mechanisms of hog nose snakes is bluff striking and hissing. They also can play dead as well, but you 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 normally see the bluff striking and hissing more. Um, and captive bred hognose snakes. And if you're kind of new to this species, that may scare you. Um, you may jump, you may flinch, you may think that they're gonna bite you, when in fact, it's probably a 99% chance that you're not gonna get bit when they display this behavior. So I'm gonna give you some examples of that, and then I'm gonna give you examples of when a snake can actually bite you, which is usually due to a food response. So sit back and relax and enjoy this video. So first we're going to start off with my eastern hog nose snake and as you can hear she is doing a lot of hissing and bluff striking and I am in no danger. She doesn't have her mouth open. She's just basically headbutting me trying to scare me away so I can stop messing with her. I am agitating my snakes in this video just for demonstration purposes. But like I say I'm, I'm not in any kind of danger. She is not going to bite me. When they're in a defensive position like this, the last thing they're going to do is bite. Their mouth is not designed for that, and that's not part of their defense. And um, I'm going to slow it down. As you can see, it looks like she bit me, but when I slow it down, her mouth isn't even open. And so next we have my other eastern hognose snake, and he is not cooperating for this video. You can hear him hissing a little bit, but I could not get him to bluff strike, even though I am trying to agitate him as much as possible petting him like he's a little dog, but might as well just put him on this video since he is a really pretty snake. And next we have my Kevin Rhodes Granite Jungle, and she usually buff, bluff strikes a little bit, but they don't want to cooperate in this video, but you can hear her hissing a little bit. And I'm just trying to agitate her, rubbing on her, but she does not want to bluff strike. But as you can see, you can hear that wheezing sound. I'm um, just trying to scare me away, trying to get me to stop messing with her because she is really agitated. But decided to just leave this in because she's such a pretty snake. And now we have my super arctic anaconda diablo and I'm trying to get him to bluff strike which he's doing a little bit but you can hear he's mostly hissing like i said i'm not in any danger none of them are trying to bite me at all just trying to get me to stop messing with them next we have little curry and he gets agitated pretty easily. You can see he's bluff striking. He's actually getting in a defensive position where he's curling up, trying to protect himself, trying to protect his head. And he's about to do something pretty interesting, another defensive mechanism. Right about now. If you didn't see it right there, he actually shot some musk, and I'll slow it down for y'all. And so next we're gonna show you how you can actually get bit by a hog nose snake. So this is my toxic female and you're gonna notice that she's not defensive, she's not bluff striking and she isn't hissing. She has focus, she's focused on my finger and she just comes right at it like it's a pinky mouse. All right, so like you saw in this video, if you ever have a hog nose snake that's in a defensive position and they're hissing and they're blowing air out their mouth and they're bluff striking, um, you're not going to get bit. This is not, biting is not a behavior for them. 
But at the same time, if you have a hog nose snake that's following you, following you around, not in a defensive position, and they have their mouth open lunging at you, that is a feeding response, and that is how you can get bit. And I do have a video on how to get a hog nose snake off of you. If they do bite you, all you have to do is lift up on their rostral scale or their nose, and they'll come right off.